stole the peacock's feathers. Someone's head at the octopus. Someone unstriped the zebra. When there's a strange crime in the zoo, and you're looking for a clue, you'll always find him right on track. Sherlock Yak. Sherlock Yak. With Hermione right by his side. The bad guys just can't hide. If you get lost, he'll get you back. Sherlock Yak. All the dreams and all the He's dough. mean and mean, and he's no fool. And he's way double cool. He won't stand for no yakety yak. Sherlock Yak. I'm on the go. Will you find out before Sherlock who broke the crane's voice? It's open, Hermione. Come in. That's enough now. <laughs> I didn't know you were clumsy, Hermione. Oh, no, it's not me. <laughs> well, I'll be. What's that little tyke doing here? Getting into trouble. That's all he seems to be able to do. I didn't know that you were a babysitter. Neither did I. Good thing it's only for today. This child is a real terror. Well, I think he looks rather cute. Don't worry, I'm used to children. You must be patient with children. Hey, what's the matter with you? If you find anger rising in you, you must try to meditate. <gasps> Monotony, oh, monotony, oh, monotony. All right, that's enough. <laughs> oh, you must make progress, young disciple. <laughs> Don't ever get annoyed, Hermione. That's rule number one. <laughs> hey, hey, oh. You little tyke, you. Sherlock Yak here. Hey, all the G's and all the Zoes, I'm on the go. Hermione, the crane has to cancel her concert. The diva doesn't want to sing anymore? No, she can't sing. It's a horrible crime. A musical catastrophe. Did you catch a cold? Not at all. I ate one of these honey candies. She always does that before singing. Be quiet, lemur. Bring me some warm milk with orange <sighs> blossoms. What a clumsy fool. So you ate a honey candy and it hurt your voice? Yes. That is strange. Yes. As soon as I ate one, my voice suddenly disappeared. Oh. You sure took your time. Hmm. Uh, not enough orange blossom. Hmm. Oh! Look what he's done! <laughs> That's enough, baby Roo. Calm down, Hermione. And remember that patience is the key to success with children. <laughs> Cute little tyke you. Mm, thanks. Those false feet are quite amusing. <clears throat> Sherlock, these honey candies are probably not what they seem. Good deduction, Hermione. But what are they? It's Piper Nigrum. Piper Nigrum? Oh, yes. Black pepper, that is. Someone replaced my honey candies with pepper candies? Quite right. This has provoked a temporary irritation of your laryngeal passage. Mm. You've lost your voice. Be quiet, lemur, and bring me a glass of water. Mm. Oh, who could have done this? That's what we're going to find out, dear diva. Quite right. Do you know who came into your dressing room? Well, besides the lemur... The pelican and the rockhopper penguin! Oh. Oh, let me speak, will you? <clears throat> The pelican and the rockhopper penguin. Hmm, Hermione, we have two suspects to question. Yes, let's not forget the candies. Quite right. Bring all the trees and all the souls. That little tyke is eating the evidence of the crime. Be patient, Sherlock. Remember the teachings of your master. <sighs> Whew. You little tyke, you. Come and get your practical jokes. Great practical jokes right here. Ah, customers coming ashore. Hmm. 
Good morning, Pelican. I didn't know you sold all these practical joke items. It's new. It's for little pirates like this one here. So, what brings you here? We're investigating a crime. Someone gave the crane a sore throat with some pepper candies. Well, that'll teach that nasty bird. Don't you like her? I adore her. I'd take a rowboat across the Atlantic Ocean for her, but she never pays me any attention. This morning, I offered her some chocolates, and she put them in the trash, said she was on a diet. I see. Tell me, do you sell pepper candies? Affirmative, sailor. Candies oh. like these? Yes, but I'm out of those. A mysterious thief stole them last night. Oh, look there, Sherlock. There are some footprints on the ground. Mm. Hmm, very interesting. Hermione, could you identify these footprints? Yes. They're the prints of a web-footed bird. I'm a web-footed bird by all the oceans. They're my own footprints, no doubt about that. Oh, come over this way. We'll compare them. <laughs> Let's see, then. Uh, no. The candy thief is a web-footed bird, but not a pelican. Thanks, Hermione. Speaking of web-footed birds, why don't you go and question the rockhopper penguin? Oh, God. <laughs> Why, you little brat, I ought to take you in. Oh, oh you little tyke. Hmm. Oh, oh, my The crane has lost her voice. Good for her, babushka. Aren't you in love with her? Oh, not in the least. I can't stand her acting like a diva all the time. Nothing's ever good enough for her. Even though I put all my heart in my creations. Look at this. I worked all night long to finish this dress. All night long? So you didn't go to the pelican's place? What pelican? What do you mean? At night oh. I work! Look at this! Oh. Hmm? Ah, yes, quite right. Thanks, Penguin. One last thing, we need to take a look at your footprints. Why, of course. Here. Hmm? 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 Your footprints are parallel, but those I took pictures of are not. But your footprints are the ones we found at the Pelicans. Impossible. I tell you, I didn't set foot at that old pirate's place. Boy, it's complicated. What do you think of all this, Sherlock? I think that all is well, Hermione, because I know who the culprit is. Huh? What about you, young detective? If you paid close attention, I'm sure you can figure it out. Let's go over the case. Someone replaced the crane's honey candies with some pepper candies to stop her singing. We have three suspects who could have gone into the dressing room and switched the candies. But there is only one culprit. Is it the pelican, the rockhopper penguin, or the lemur? The criminal left some very special footprints. So have you guessed who the culprit is? is simple. Pelican, you say you're in love with the crane, but she completely ignores you. <gasps> so you have an excellent reason to take it out on her. Oh. However, this morning when you went to see her, someone had already stolen the pepper candies from uh. your stall. As for you, Penguin, you're tired of all the crane's horrible behavior, and it was your footprints that were found at the practical joke stall. Hmm. I'm telling you, I never set foot at the Pelican's place, Babushka. That is correct. Mm. For the prints we found belong to a bird that walks. Like these. Pelican fits the description. But the penguin is a jumping bird and leaves prints like these. Whoever left the footprints behind when he switched the candies left the wrong footprints. He didn't know the difference between a jumping bird and a walking bird. Every bird knows that difference by Poseidon. Birds do, but lemurs don't. For the culprit, lemur is you! <gasps> yes, you used a pair of stage feet to throw off the investigation. With those feet, you stole the pepper candies, which you switched with the honey candies. Yes, it was me! I did it because I couldn't stand her acting like such a diva. I quit this job. Goodbye. Not so fast, lemur. I should have put on some fake bear paws. Pointless. I would have found you out. Uh, and I thought that I only had admirers. You have at least one, dear crane. Isn't that right, Pelican? Huh? It's time to declare your feelings. 
Uh, uh, well, dear Crane, you're beautiful. <laughs> beautiful like a ship sail in the sunset. Oh, thanks, Pelican. That's very romantic. Uh, Sherlock, speaking of flames, it smells like something's burning. Quite right. Maybe yes. someone's cooking a barbecue. By all the trees and all the souls. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hmm. That's enough now. Uh, patience, Sherlock? My master, Ball of Purity, also said that when patience runs out, you have to be a little firm. I want you to behave right now! Hmm. Come on. Good morning, horse. What can I do for you? Hello, I'd like some chewing gum with, uh, with, uh... With pepper? No, uh, uh, uh. With soap? No, uh, 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 That explodes? Yeah, that's it. Uh, I'll go and get him. Uh, uh, actually, uh, uh, uh I'll be back later. Uh, 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 hey, uh, hey, oh. Well? Uh, business is tough. I think I'd rather be a prop man. Here's to you, Crane. Cheers. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh. Daddy! Everything go all right? Yes. You know, with children, you just need a little patience. Oh. <laughs> you precious little tyke. 